Yo, what's the word, gang? So, look, we got this um, news to report when it comes to Matt Hoffa. So, I spoke with Matt Hoffa last night, and uh, he basically spoke on Cameron Mace as well as Sub-Zero and Trump. And um, about the Sub-Zero, y'all seen the viral content. You know, it got about 100,000 views. Sub-Zero speaking on math. Math family responds. As well as, you know, we want to get his thoughts on the whole Mace and Jay Prince situation. So, this is a crazy clip. Y'all get in the comments. Y'all let me know what you think. Let's get to it. First thing he did, ran a, a, a nigga who just wakes up lying, lying on, my, on, on my name. To this day, this nigga's claiming he knows me and I know him. I don't know this nigga. Shit is crazy. So what gave you the inspiration for that uh, Sub-Zero disc? Like, it's because, like, you've been talking all these years and you never really responded to him? No, it's been a whole decade. This nigga talk about my dick. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't know why a nigga would think that, like, yo, this is going to be my claim to fame. I'm going to just keep telling the story about Math off his dick. Like, it's weird. I thought Sub was on some pimp shit before. I thought he was on his player player. This nigga found out I was messing with some chick that was that was playing it down. She was acting like he was just a trick. She wasn't really fucking with him like that. I hit, I guess he got wind of something. I don't know. I don't know how. And the nigga started making uh, graphic designs with me and her with hearts around it, talking about we in love. All this shit was on Twitter. What? Like a decade ago, all this shit was on Twitter. And I was like, yo, bro, you acting weird. He calling me up in the middle of the night. I'm with another chick. He like, yo, so tell me what it, how did it happen? Like, what happened? Did what did, did y'all kiss? Did y'all yo get the fuck off my phone, nigga? You the fuck? Yeah, because I had heard some of that story before, and I'm like, yeah, oh, he redoing it. He redoing yeah, it. Yeah, he, he keep flipping it and bouncing it and trying to remix it and remix it. Vlad told me he don't respond to anything unless it's over 100,000 views. So he finally hit his number. <laughs> but nah, all that, all that shit is, that, that shit is weird, man. That shit is weird. I don't, I don't understand it. I don't know if the nigga heartbroken or he just clout chasing. I don't know what it is. Probably a little bit of both. Probably. But the things, the things that we was doing, that was not the love of your life, my man. <laughs> it was not. That was not the love of your life. Cut it out. Can't be that mad, bro. It's like That's back crazy. in the day, he was known for like having a bunch of ladies, like you said. So him being like, yeah, but apparently he, he apparently during that time it was all a front. He was a simp. Mm. Did the, did the lady ever tell you that? Like that about him? Did you ever yeah, say she, she said he, he was paying her rent. Yeah, that's crazy. That's kind of breaking that's news. Really cause you, like you said, he do come off as like the player player. And he's saying all this shit. Oh, she said this. She said that nigga I hit like a couple years ago. Ran into her. Yo, what up? Da -da. Mashed it again. Every person got that one, so Say it again. I said everybody got that one, though. Yeah, but God damn, this nigga's like 50 one, years old. This nigga's like 50 one, years old. <laughs> you still mad? Okay. All right. So that, that was the inspiration for the record. Hey, Matt, how you feel about... um? The whole Cameron Mace and Jay Prince situation. Like him speaking on Shakur saying like, you know, Mace and uh, Cam basically said that uh, Shakur is like a boring fight. And Jay Prince got mad. I don't know if you've seen him. Well, I got to ask y'all. How y'all feel when y'all watch a Shakur Stevenson fight? Yeah, it's, it's not that exciting. That shit was boring, bro. I ain't going to lie to you. It was a boring ass fight. So if somebody got to, I mean, there's sports, there's sports on um, podcasters now. And, don't, you know, don't Cam and Mace. I think it was. I, I think he's just as deep as a fight, like like Mayweather was, was uh, going like the end of his. Shit. 
he all right. I don't think it was boring, but he's he not yeah, so much yeah, right okay. All right, but when you selling the fight, saying you're going to knock a nigga out. We expected we expected you know, you tank level performance. Show, right? Like we wanted that tank level performance, bro. That's yeah, what we expected. Right. And, and that's I why did. Tank is running the game right now because he's he's a lightweight who damages niggas. But it's the, fucked up that we want to see that, but we want to see that. But should should black people people in our community feel like they can't speak on things because we're attached or associated or we got some sort of loyalty? Or, I don't know, the street, shit, or the pole, like, or they, like, the thing that, the thing that bothers me, like, in, in a, I, mean, sense. I think, I think Cam and Mace is going to articulate themselves in a way that is probably going to hit him a little bit harder than Skip Bayless or, or, or any other sports um announcer, but at the end of the day, that's their opinion. That's their opinion. There's probably a thousand write-ups on that fight that he could have responded to, but he responded to Cam and Mitch. Is that fair though? For, and I'm not even speaking on this, just for us as people to hold people to that sort of, um, you know, to hold people to that, like, you're not supposed to say this or do that because, I don't know, is it you're black or to hold them to whatever street code or Whatever ideas they have about loyalty or whatever, can they not speak on things like this with Bayless or whoever if they actually don't have a name? If Sub Zero could talk about my penis for 10 years, then anybody can say what they want to say. Hmm. Hey, Matt, let me ask you about this, this whole Trump situation. Like, so Trump. You know, he, he supposedly got shot. You know, some people believe it, some people don't. You know, looks to me like he got shot, but uh, what you yeah. think about it? Um, Whether I believe it's real or whether I believe it's fake doesn't matter. Because the people that believe it's real, they're going to vote for him. People that believe it's fake, they probably not. Doesn't make a difference to me. Do I believe he's going to be the next president? Yes, I do. I you think that people, even with the flip, even with the flip of uh, Biden stepping down? <clears throat> even with the flip. Even with the flip. Because, let's be honest, like, um, it ain't, I tell people all the time, fuck the character of the person. Look up the policies. If the policies agree with your ideals, then follow that. Don't look at the character because, you know, it's a smear campaign. I remember um, Hillary Clinton was putting out all types of foul shit on Obama. It's politics. It's just what they do. You got to look up the policies and see, okay, all right, cool. I, yeah, I do want this out of the schools. Oh, okay, all right, they're, they're working on a program for this. Oh, all right, cool. All right, this is what they're going to be doing with the energy. All right, bet. Our people need to get more involved in that because it, that ties into so many other things ties into the stock market it ties into our way of living uh, how the world is going to change we need to pay attention to that shit all the other shit that like it's, po it's pointless what are we what are we watching the shit for what do i care whether a nigga's nice to to, to 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 other people for if he's gonna run the country a certain way and i like how he's gonna run the country fuck it and but everybody want to talk about trump that shit okay Trump fucks porn stars. Biden sniffs little girls. All right. Hey, bro, I've been meaning to ask um, you 